I don't know, just kind of this idea of like, don't wait for permission. You know, we've got this small little space, um, which is kind of yeah. kind of rubbish in some ways. It's a knockout <laughs> gallery, you know, which is which is which is essentially which is essentially for a car to be parked in. But we've turned it into something which I think everybody can be quite proud of, and people know. Another stands for Lockout Visual Arts, and we've been running for just over a year. Yeah, so it's the last Thursday of every month for three hours because um, when it's not a gallery, it's a garage. Well, I, th I think the idea was that actually if you look at many openings, the majority of people just come for openings and then essentially galleries are mostly empty spaces that just have objects in them for four or five weeks. So to just actually more or less have the opening and then it returns to back to being a garage. So it retains its functionality. So yeah, so we just want to try and create a different kind of curatorship. Um, curatorship of maybe artists that um, are underrepresented in the wider artists art world. artists that, can, that the people from the council estate can relate to. Because there's a lot of art that is pretentious and, and might not be um, accessible as such. Yeah, so the whole idea is about being on the estate is that it's not like we're bringing any kind of culture because there's enough culture here already. Um, we send a newsletter out every month, um, which um, again tells people tells uh, people on the estate, which I live on, um, what's going on. And the other thing that we're doing as well is when people come, we always ask people to bring some food because we act as a kind of collection point for the First Love Foundation, which is a which helps people um, experiencing sort of hardship um, due to uh, various cuts and the austerity measures um, that have been put in place. So again, it's just thinking about what are the alternatives to, to just um, being depressed about the state of London and not showing anything because because feeling everything's screwed up and I think there is generally a movement away from London as a place for younger practitioners to be and so yeah I think it's a lot tougher environment and I think that's why we have to be even sharper and more clever in terms of how and where we show and what we do and the way that we organize ourselves. Now this is a space where you can pretty much do what you want with it. Yeah. So that's I think a really valuable thing for artists. It's like, you know, you can mess this space up as much as you want. You can test things out. It's not precious in that in 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 that in that sense. And I think that's really important that you know, you just give people you just give artists a place where you can just go just come and do something and you know, there's no expectations on it always looking amazing or there's no expectations on, you know, everybody thinking it's incredible, but you know, just test stuff out yeah. in, a, in, in, a, in a kind of a fairly public arena. And I don't think there's enough spaces that just, that you, you can, you know, you can fail in here as much as you can be successful in here.